right. Can everyone hear me? I can. Okay. Good. 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 I want to uh, first uh, give recognition to my executive team, uh, Vivid, uh, Layla, and my friend Odell and my partner, uh, Cuddles. Uh, we run a sim called King City, which has uh, uh, different entertainment venues, uh, bowling, skating, couple of venues, couple of shops. Um, uh, it came in few, into fruition uh, 12 years ago. That's how long I've been in uh, SL. So I've been in SL. I've done some time in open sim. So um, I got a little experience I'm under my belt. Seems like a long time. Uh, I want to give a uh, shout out to uh, Dr. Rachel. Thank you for inviting me to uh, hear your song. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Zori, my colleagues, Zori, uh, Toya. Um, hopefully, um, I'll get to know you guys much better um, during this endeavor. Uh, partnerships are important. Sure. Sure. So, um, um, Dr. Rachel invited me as far as to have a discussion on uh, Black Lives Matter. But before we do that, we must establish a foundation or a definition of the meaning of Black Lives Matter. And here is the solid, most concrete definition of Black Lives Matter. Speaks out against the police brutality and systematic racism in all racially motivated violence against black people. So we're talking about George Floyd. We're talking about Ahmaud Arbery. We're talking about Breonna Taylor. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Hold on for a second. So, with that being said, statistically, black people are twice as likely to be killed by pol a police officer while unarmed compared to a white individual. According to a 2015 study from the American Journal of Public Health, African Americans died at the hands of police at a rate of 7.2 million, while, while whites were killed at a rate of 2.9 million. So this is what I'm saying. Police violence disproportionately impacts young people. And the young people affected are disproportionately people of color. Now, of course, some of you in the room may or may not have this default answer or company line answer and say that, hey, all lives matter. So I'm going to go into a little bit of depth as far as why it is missing the point to say all lives matter. So understanding it while it, it may be the intent to use this phrase to put everybody on equal footing, I understand that, and to convey a sense of unity. Responding all lives matter to black lives matter is actually more divisive than unifying. Let me expound as to why. It 
discounts and diminishes the focus on the violence and discrimination black individuals face every day in this country, in the United States. Black Americans, African Americans are disproportionately impacted by police violence and systematic racism in our nation. Our entire social structure centers around whiteness as a default. So this is why I say asserting that all lives matter just reaffirms, reaffirms or ignores that reality. Now, don't get me wrong. This is, this is correct. All lives do matter. All lives do matter. But listen, not everyone's lives are in danger due to the color of their skin. Are you guys with me? Saying black lives matter isn't equivalent now to saying other lives don't matter, but rather this, but rather that black lives should matter as much as white, white lives. Let me give you, I'm going to go into depth a little bit, <laughs> a little bit on the black experience in America, in America. Let me say this, it's, it's not, it's important not only to see color, but to work on leveling the playing field. It's a sad reality that the black experience in America isn't the same as non-black experiences in both small and incredibly large ways. Let me give you an example. Adhesive bandages, pantyhose, makeup foundation, the default color range is white. Many workplaces and schools, they still prohibit natural hairstyles or look at them as like less professional or unprofessional. Now, I work in the aerospace industry, so I'm in a professional field. And in my experiences, more than half of African Americans also report experiencing racial discrimination from getting interviews with lower rates and pay and promotion disparities. This is our reality. So let me tell you this. Okay, 